After you have learned today's lesson, you are able to make some of these gravity-based games like Flappy Bird, the Chrome Dinosaur game, or any of the following object games. Hi and welcome to my channel, Building Blocks. Today we're going to learn how to code gravity, both the simple and advanced method. Let's start by coding the simple gravity code, as I will refer to as the linear drop. First, let's change the background. I'm going to add in the blue sky background as it's got a brown it's got a brown floor which we will use to trigger when the gravity will stop affecting the character. I'm going to start by moving the cat to the top left of the screen. Here on the left side, we're going to code the linear drop. We're going to start by using the green flag when clicked and we're going to set the cat to always start from the top. This is just to emulate the gravity fall. The simplest way to do this is to use a change Y, a change Y block to emulate the gravity. And this, as you can see, if I put a negative 10 here, you will see that the cat is falling every time I click on it. Okay, and we're just going to use a repeat until loop here and put that minus 10 in. And when I click on this, the cat will fall down. However, do notice that the cat fell all the way down below, below the edge of the screen. We're going to add in another block called the sensing touching color block. Here, I'm going to set the color by using the eyedropper here to the brown color floor or ground. Let's try the code again. Excellent. So here we have a linear drop. I'm going to type in here cat to add the cat sprite and I'm going to put him on the top right. Okay. We're going to start by using the green flag and the same go to go to block. We will position the cat at the start position. Now we're going to use very similar bo blocks to the one before this, which is the repeat until touching the brown color ground. I'm going to use the same eye droplet to select the thing. Okay, the main difference here is we have to set two blocks. One is the Y velocity block and one is the gravity block and we're going to use variables for that. We're going to start by setting the gravity variable. Let's just rename this to gravity. G-R-A-V-I-T-Y, gravity. Excellent. Like before, we're going to use the change Y by, my, by minus 10 block. This is just to ensure that it's working for now. Okay, the basic linear drop is still functional like before. But however, we're going to use another variable called the Y velocity. Let's set it up. Here, we're going to use the change, change, we're going to create a new variable called y velocity. Okay, and this we will set as the gravity, set it to gravity. Okay, this will be known as the y velocity, change y velocity by gravity. And gravity for now, we're going to use it as minus 2. Okay, and we are going to use a change y instead of a 10, we're going to use the change by y velocity in here. Okay, let's just try this now. Okay, now when we test it, we can see the cat is falling down, but the velocity is not resetting to zero. Every time the cat reaches the ground, he should have a velocity of zero as it's not moving. We will need to set the variable to set the variable y velocity to zero when he touches the ground this will reset him okay let's try this all right is it working now yes the gravity seems to be better attached to the cat okay now let's just run both the codes together and you can see the difference can you see the right side it starts slow but it ends up faster just like gravity when you jump you will feel the same thing whereas on the left side the linear drop the cat falls at a constant speed which doesn't really happen in real life. It's simpler to code, but we should be trying to use the gravity code where possible. Why don't you create a jumping game with the codes you learned today? You may try my Dino tutorial and upgrade the code. Why don't you make your own games like Flappy Bird, Chrome Dinosaur Jumping Game, or any of the following games? And don't forget to share the games you've made in the comments below. If you've enjoyed my video today, I would appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up as this will really help the channel.